You remember fun, don't you? What if I told you that you could combine fun with responsibility? The question I had, is the Troxus Lynx a viable tool for an SHTF scenario? Well, before we talk about it, we gotta test it. Want premium ad free content? Duh. Content that's not censored by big tech, of course. Well, with SD Insider, you can get behind the scenes and a whole lot more. Link in the description. Now, the Lynx is a high end mid level bike, which means they put the money where it matters and they pass the savings onto you. Now, at the heart of this bike is a 750 watt Bafang motor. It's also got a 48 volt, 20 amp battery with Samsung cells. And what that means is it has a lot of power. 80 newton meters of torque in fact but what really matters here is power to weight ratio with a net weight of 77 pounds and the ability to carry 353 pounds that's just badass speaking of big loads the lynx has a nice rack and i've got a woody which brings up the subject of rubbers the kenda all-terrain 20 inch by 4 inch tires are pretty girthy Pair that with adjustable front forks and that's the best ride you've had in a while. So how long can you ride her? Well, 30 miles if she does all the work, but if you can rise to the occasion, you can go 62. The Shimano seven speed shifting operation sure comes in handy for that. Now you gotta be saying it can't be all a bed of roses. Where are the thorns? Well, let's address the common complaints. Number one, the motor is loud. Well, when she barks, she bites. Hey, it's a trade off. I certainly wasn't complaining when I was using the five speed pedal assist going 28 miles an hour or when I hit the throttle when I was cruising at 20. Number two, mechanical brakes over hydraulic brakes. It doesn't need them. In your face! And for that kind of performance, I'll take the savings any day. Number three, the monochrome LCD. Well, do you prefer pretty colors or function and simplicity? It's intuitive, easy to read, it charges your cell phone, and in my opinion, what more could you possibly want? Plus, I think the world could use a little bit more of that. Instead of complaining, you could be thanking the engineers for utilizing a little common sense. Do you have a bad back or bad knees? The 6061 tank of an aluminum frame is a step through. The seat is adjustable without tools, and the BMX handlebars are just retro pimp and practical. Look, she's a hot rod even down to the colors, red, black, and gray. My absolute favorite feature is the low center of gravity. And if you want to go accessory crazy, there are plenty of options. I went with a mirror, a cell phone holder, and deployable saddlebags. If you want to know all the specs, go look them up, okay? Specs are boring. What I want to know is, does it work? All right, so I'm going to take you on a test ride real quick just to show you how this thing works in real time. You'll notice over here on the left side of the handlebars, you've got the power station. This is your power button. All you do is you press it and the LCD screen comes on. It is super bright right now, and you'll notice how easy it is to see that display, and I'm totally digging on that. Back over here, this is your up and your down for your pedal assist. It goes all the way down to zero, and it goes all the way up to five. Now, you better be careful when you're using it on five, because this thing will really take off. Now, over here on the right-hand side, that's for your headlight. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Now you'll notice if you hit this button, what it does is it takes you through all the options that are on the LCD screen. It's very simple, very easy to use, and there's not a whole lot for you to have to go through. Now right here is the throttle. A lot of people have a hard time with that being on the left-hand side, but believe me, it is so easy, it's so ergonomic, it's nothing to adjust to. You've also got an integrated bell, which I think I'm just gonna yell at people, with your rear brake lever. 
Now as we move over here to the right hand side, this is your shifter, so easy. And of course, you've got your front brake lever. All right, so I'm gonna put this thing in pedal assist number one because we really just don't need to go any higher. And I'm not even gonna pedal, and this thing will just take off like it's no problem whatsoever. Now if I wanna go faster, all I gotta do is go up on the pedal assist, and then the power really comes on. I mean, I'm not hardly even pedaling. And look. It's 28 miles an hour. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Now, if you want to unlock the suspension, all you got to do is turn that little knob, and we're ready to go. Just so much power. If I don't even want to pedal, check this out. I can just cruise all day long at 20 miles an hour. Now I'm actually going up a slight incline right now. We're at what, 19.3, Now, Like I said, we're on a slight incline. We're almost at 20. Now here's an opportunity for us to go off-road a little bit here. God, Pedal Assist 5 is amazing. So much power. There's a hill. It's not an issue. I'm out down the hill. Okay. Back up the hill. No pedaling. Dig it. Another hill. All right, here's a pretty good incline. I'm in seventh gear, barely pedaling, and we're just cruising. How does it handle? <laughs> well, let's just cruise through here. And as you can see, this thing is very controllable. Excellent handling. And like I said, I love the low center of gravity. It really helps out a lot when you're off-road. Oh yeah, speed bumps. <laughs> when you can see where this would just be incredible. Can I go down this? Yeah, I sure can. What else we got? And the ride's pretty comfortable, even if you're sitting down. What do we have here? Like a little road? Okay. Let's go explore. Looks like there's not really much of anything. Maybe we can find some arrowheads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, one thing that I really really like about it is, I mean, look at this throttle control. I can go so slow over uneven, rocky terrain. And then if I want to get into the throttle, it's like instantaneous power. Huh. Brakes. See how smooth that is? What's this? A playground. What's that? The speed bumps. Woo.
Oh, we got like a little course here. All right. Hit the apex. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. There you have it, riding an e-bike in real time. Now, would I recommend the Troxxas Lynx? Yeah. I've got one and they didn't pay me to tell you that. Besides it being just completely fun, I see a ton of advantages with this. Where I really see an application is with search and rescue. When I was in, we had mountain bikes, ATVs, UTVs, RTVs, etc. An advantage to this in that particular case is I could ride the trails on a hasty search and I can still hear. And despite what everybody tells you, the motor is not that loud. You just need to go shoot a little bit more without ear pro and you'll be exactly where I'm at. Don't do that, I'm just playing. Another advantage I see is like say, right after a hurricane or a tornado getting around town. If you've ever been to a disaster scenario, you know it's difficult to get a vehicle around the roads and through yards, debris, etc. This would be the perfect solution for that. Now, a lot of people are gonna be asking, well, what about the charge? Obviously, if the power is out, how am I gonna charge the bike? Well, one solution that I see for that is having a solar bank charger. I think that that would be probably one of the best solutions that you could have, but you could also charge it with a generator. Next question is, well, how long would it take to charge with say a generator? Well, what I can tell you is that from zero to 100, it takes about five hours. That's not really that long considering how far this thing will go. Another solution would be to have another battery on standby that you could utilize and charge the other one while you're using the other battery. And if all else fails, you can still ride it like a bicycle. It does have seven gears and it doesn't weigh that much. It's pretty easy to ride. Now I wouldn't be going and tackling like some huge hills or whatever, but as far as flat ground goes, you can ride this without any kind of assist whatsoever. Another advantage is they're really light. I was able to lift it up onto this table, no problem. One, two, three. If you needed to get over say a fence or some kind of obstacle, it's real easy to pick up. Now let's say you're going up a really steep hill or an incline where the bike just wouldn't take you up it. One thing that you can do is when you're walking, you just hit the throttle and the bike carries itself. It's like it's not even there. In fact, it can actually help pull you up the hill. All in all, this bike is a game changer and it is definitely a force multiplier for an SHTF scenario. Now, if you wanna see an adventure film, which I absolutely love doing, let me know in the comments section and I will make it happen. I want it to happen. So if you're hunting smack digging the video, get in the comments section, like, share, subscribe, let me know about your e-bike experience. And until next time, fuel those fires.